Oh man, where'd I put my sealed only footage? It's enough to make your blood run cold. It's so cold outside. I'm alone, I'm alright. It's so cold. I always feel like I could break now, but I never let it take me to that place now. I will never let my thoughts get away now. I got better things to do, picking fake now. I just want to be the best, call me great now. I don't know if I'm okay or insane now. I remember better days on the playground. Hoping I can find my way, even when I'm facing down. down. I fight, even when I don't know what is right. I'ma pick a side and I'ma take pride. I will decide my fate and die. Will never let them tell me who I am. If you try to shake me, I'll be damned. Planning on the ground is where I stand. Never give up, that was always the plan. It's so cold yeah. outside. I'm alone, I'm alright. It's so cold outside. I'm alone. I'm alright. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rain Knight Gaming. I'm Rain Knight, and this is my Yu Gi Oh! Sealed Only Adventure, episode 22. And yes, this is the last episode, the pinnacle episode. Uh, and I'm really excited. I have had so much fun making this series for you guys. Anybody that's their first time, go back and watch the old episodes. There's a lot of good stuff. I'm just gonna jump right into the polls because we're gonna do some polls, we're gonna do a deck profile because we change a lot of stuff, and then we're going to locals. So first off, we've got two of the Rising Rampage. Rising Rampage has not been kind to us at all. We have not pulled jack nor crap, uh, but I'm hoping we have a little bit more luck this time. Uh, so far, uh, we have not been able to pull anything. You probably can guess what we want to pull out of this. We just want the level eight Gizmeka Roshi. He's a secret rare in here, but you know, we're taking our chances because I'd love to have a secret rare of him. Um, dang me. We have not had any luck with this. Um, but this episode is going to be a lot of fun. We're really doing a big shift in the deck. See if, nope, another, another spell. Big shift in the deck. We're actually going to 40 cards. Talked to a lot of guys locals last time I was there, and I think it's the way to go. So I definitely changed it. Damn it, I thought it was an effect monster. I thought it was going to be it. Uh, so wait for that deck profile. Big changes there be having. <laughs> okay, last pack here. What? Nah, strap. Nothing good. Okay, one more shot. Well, three more shots. We have our golden 10. This is the last of the ones I bought back when it was normal priced. So hopefully we pull something good. Uh, if we pull a Dragoon, would we play it? Who knows? I probably would because he's cheap and awesome. Not cheap in price though. Okay, so our first secret is nothing good and nope. Uh, and, uh, I saw the effect and I was like, maybe, but nothing. Second pack. Got a good feeling about this one. We've got a Salomon Great, Marinsas, Dino, di a lot of dinos. I don't like the dinos. What's up with that? Okay, getting into our rares here. Nothing. Hangy, and we've got, oh, oh, oh man, I thought that was it. Oh, and then we had a fusion. We're getting a cheap fusion. Okay, last pack here. Let's speed through these, and we've got, oh, oh, oh. Yes! Woo! <laughs> yeah, we got it. Oh man, that's awesome. That gives us two of those, and it's the best, the best hand trap. According to a dude from Locals, you know who you are. So let's get into this deck profile. Uh, we did alter it up a bunch, so we're just playing the three Toon Kingdom and two Comic Hands. Um, you know, we're not playing very many tunes, so it's more of a tune engine than a tune deck, but I like it actually. And we're playing all five of our searchers. We've got the two bookmark and the three of the tune table of contents. 
Then we get into our kaijus. I have been loving the kaijus. I may have to make a kaiju deck at some point, which just basically is, but. <laughs> then we're running five kaijus. I cut the gamma seal down to one because <laughs> didn't have a lot of space in the deck. And then of course, the two Orochis. And we get into our dangers. We've got two Big Bird and we've got two Big Foot. That's a great, you know, just trying to get free monsters out. It's awesome. We get some hand traps. We've got Arnaburus. Love Arnaburus. And the biggest small boy. <laughs> we've got our Grand Maju. And then our level ones, Eater of Millions. This card's fantastic. I'm loving him. And, you know, just gnarly. That's all the monsters we're running right now. Then, of course, we've got our Super Poly. You know, we've got great Super Poly targets. Just helps clear the board. And we, of course, we've got our Searchers that help fuel some of our banishing. And then we've got more Searchers for our level eights so we can, you know, get some extra value off some of our dangers possibly. And of course, we've got two removal. We've got our Duster, because I love it. And then a Twin Twister. And then I'm just keeping a solid judgment in there because, you know, it's just a, a great negate anything. So I love it. Not a ton of changing in the extra deck. Uh, we're still, of course, playing the 97-100 package. Uh, it's just a great OTK machine. It's fantastic. And we've got the 107s uh, that would go underneath it. And then we've just got some general level 8s. It, most everything else in our extra deck right now is just fuel for our eaters to banish to give us more power on our Grand Maju. Then we've got some links. Again, more just fuel for the Grand Maju and the eater. Uh, we do play Gammas in the extra deck, so I keep the Synchro. Then we've got our targets, and for any extra little boys, we play the Chimera Tech. I love it. Okay, it's locals time. Let's head out. Let's do this. Uh, as you can kind of see, my <laughs> my setup is still not the best. I've, I've really got to improve on my recording live stuff. Uh, hopefully for season two, I am planning on possibly getting a new camera, so I'm not just using my iPhone. That should be a vast improvement. Um, but you know, a lot of fun. You know, if you get a chance to go to Locals, definitely take it. Locals, you learn so much playing live. Like I, I feel like I get tons better each time I play live. Uh, this first match is actually against Dytron. Uh, the guy was actually a really nice dude. Um, he was a new player, which I would not pick Dytrons if I was a new player. Uh, I think I played Zombies when I was a new player, which is vastly easier to play. Uh, one person commented that he might have been slow playing me. I, I, I don't think he was slow playing me. Honestly, new player, really complicated deck. Um, I never for one moment thought he was slow playing me. So, you know, definitely don't think that was happening. Uh, I know I would be taking my time playing this deck. Uh, his first turn, he doesn't do too much. He does get a Dragoon out, which I wasn't too nervous about because I had a Gamma Seal. <laughs> and that kind of uh, sealed it for him on this turn because, you know, I told you I cut the deck down to 40 to add consistency. And I'll tell you one thing it really did is I get my tune cards every turn now, basically. You know, with all the searchers I have, going into things. So I'm able to get my hand, I'm able to get my kingdom, and then I'm able to do some more drawing because you always want to do your desires after you use specific cards you want because you can easily banish stuff. And I I get my big, my newest boy. I get my Orochi, so I get a level eight on the field. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to play my kingdom. I'm going to play my hand. I'm going to take his Gamma Seal and then I'm going to overlay for 97, then 100. And that's 9K. Two is 500. So he knew that was game. Uh, I, I kind of lost the middle match, which sucks because the middle match was really fun. Um, yeah, it was a longer match and I should have won, but I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a Grand Maju on the board and I hit and I think he had like 200 life left after I hit. And then I realized I was just holding on to my Toon Kingdom instead of playing it, which would have given me the damage I need. And he was able to pull it out after that one. So kudos to him. I need to stop being so stupid and misplaying like I always do. Uh, then this last match, 
We actually ended up going to time, uh, just, you know, his super long combos. And he was actually trying to get through his combo faster. I told him I had no hand traps and to just, you know, go. And he tried to rush through. I think he even stopped his combo a little early, so I would have a chance. Uh, but the round ended right as I was starting to play. Uh, I probably could have won uh, because I had a bunch of cards that he would try to negate, but I had enough that I would probably eventually be able to get a tune monster handed and hit for damage. But, you know, going to time, it happens. <laughs> you know, there's a time limit for a reason. So good game. Uh, so we're tied up. I, we were tied up there. So I have one tie on my record. So already better than last week. So then uh, we played against this guy and it was more of a battle of who had a better mat, which I mean, I think I dominated because my mat's super clean. Oh, Altergeist. Yes, he was playing Altergeist. Um, I don't know if you've played Altergeist or played against it, but I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Uh, I literally could do nothing. Uh, you know, I actually lost my second match on here. We uh, he ended up 2 owing me fairly easily. You know, every time I would try something, he would have a response to it. I unless I think you got to have hard removal or some you know, you know, big blocks to stop him from weaving cards in and out. So. That's, it was painful for me, <laughs> but he was a really nice guy. Uh, we chatted through the whole thing. Um, I pretty much knew I was gonna lose as soon as I saw his altergeist. Um, but yeah, you know, he walked me through a lot of the stuff that he was doing and he <laughs> tell you, this dude knows altergeist. And I don't know how he ended up for the day, but I'm assuming he did fairly well because altergeist is just, you know, it's a hell of a deck and it screws you up because it just stops you from doing anything. And you can see right now, you know, he's got tons of stuff on the field and I try to get rid of it, but he stops me and that's a game. So not too much I could do there. Snake eyes. <laughs> and then I played against, uh, you know, machine deck. It was fun. Mex, And he killed me. So that was a game. <laughs> and then my last game. <laughs> Sorry, I just skipped over that last one because he basically just he destroyed me. It wasn't even fun to watch. And but the last game here, yeah, I was against a younger player. Uh, he said that he was you know really new to the game, like he's only been playing a month or so. And he had a he said he had a um, monarch trap deck which I've really played against Monarchs too much. I just know they don't use extra decks. Uh, but I was able to go straight into 97, then 100, and hit for the first game really quickly. Uh, he just didn't have any traps that could stop my plays. And we just swung right into game two. And, you know, he, of course, made me go first, because <laughs> I love going first, always. And he, I couldn't do much. He set a bunch of back row, which made me nervous. Um, but, you know, I searched and pulled Feather Duster. Feather Duster just kind of ended it for him and, you know, put out some damage. He kind of drew dead, bricked a little bit and tried to put up some kind of defense. But, you know, go straight into tunes. <laughs> you know, at least I was able to end this on a tune play. And I Gamma Sealed him, took the Gamma Seal. And you know what that's going to be. That's going to be some good damage. And that's game. So, you know, I ended with a win. Uh, I lost twice, tied once, and had a win at the end. So, you know, almost an even record. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. That's a really fun locals to go to. It's actually in the convention center in Columbus, so it's super nice. But that is gonna bring us to the end of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Only Adventure Season 1. I do plan to do a second season, so stay tuned. You know, check out my Instagram or my other social medias for hints of what I'm going to do for the next season next later this year. Uh, but don't forget to watch some of my other content, my under 50. And I am going to go back to locals with some more things. Thank you, everyone. 
for watching and subscribing. You guys make this worth it and fun to do. And I look forward to making you guys more content. So that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys next time. So from Rain Knight Gaming, I'm Rain Knight. See you.